that there were 111 vacant spots in rural Alberta. And so I said to the minister, we need to be aggressive. At that time, there were a lot of very competent doctors who graduated from South Africa. And they all would say to me, well, I have a cousin, I have a friend back in South Africa. So we chose to say, Let, let's go and see if we can talk to these people and recruit them to rural Alberta. And so the first bit of the million dollars went to hire a recruiter. So the recruiter and I flew over to South Africa. Long before we went there, we had over 100 people that we were going to uh, interview. And the, the deal was I would sit down and, and decide whether they were eligible to practice medicine and what were their competencies. And if the answer was great, then the recruiter would sit down with that doctor and their spouse. We know we could get the doctors here, but would they stay? And they'd stay if, if they're in the right community. So we're, we're, we're flying into Johannesburg and we knew there was some uh, animosity, but we were saying, we're here to visit people we know. We're not stealing these doctors. These are people who want to leave from all kinds of reasons, safety, whatever. And so I said, let's you and I go through different lines when you go through customs. And I said, the deal is, if one of us gets halted, the other keeps going. We have a job to do here. Well, luckily enough, you know, stamp, 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 on you go. And so we sat down and we, we ended up bringing, uh, I think, 95 people over. We were, had them here for 10 days. Uh, we already had them uh, sign up with at least three areas. We, we met here in Edmonton. We gave them a, a rental car, off they went and we actually filled 95 spots. And what I understood is about five years after this event, uh, they were uh, almost 100% of people were still in the area that we recruited them to because we did the right thing. So as a result of that, and I'm not sure about the timing anymore, then there were issues about training and, and, and all of a sudden we, I said like, I can't do this anymore, I actually have a day job. And so the, the issue was, I need some help. And that's how we brought David Kay in. No idea who David Kay was. He introduced himself. And then I said, it's time that I will tell you what I know, but we really have to drive this. And then in time, it became more formalized. There was monies for it, and then a board built out. So that's my recollection of really trying to improve the healthcare that's delivered to uh, people in rural Alberta.